Hi guys, I've been meaning to scope earlier today and time ran out on me. I am trying to keep up with scoping five days out of seven, so hence the late scope. And I wanted to share with you guys the, these notebooks that I got from the Dollar Tree. Hi, Kat, thanks for coming by. And I also wanted to share these dies that just came in from Stampin' Up. I'm good, how are you? So let me flip the camera and put you guys on the windowsill. Hi, Vintage Rose, I'm Vintage Rose. Okay. I know it's kind of late. I usually don't scope this late, but I just thought I would um, go ahead and scope anyways. Oh, let me introduce myself. Sorry. It's kind of late, so I'm like forgetting all my introductions and everything. My name is Melinda Hoover. I am a Stamping Up demonstrator, and I am a homeschooler. And tonight, I just wanted to show you guys what I got from Stamping Up and from the Dollar Tree. And I, let me go ahead and start that. There was someone else that was, aw, holding your sleeping baby. Um, there was someone else here on Scope. Periscope. I think it was Bohemian Planner. She was showing these notebooks that she got from the Dollar Tree. And I was like, oh, these look so cool. So, of course, I went out to go see if I could find them. And these, oh, really? Yeah, they're at the Dollar Tree. And what's really cool about these um, Vintage Rose is that, if you can see, and I'll open one, it says ruled pages, grid paper, and then blank pages. And I haven't tried the traveling notebook, tra traveler's notebook or junk journaling yet, but I thought that would be something good to uh, start with. Like, you know, this would be a good resource to have. So it comes with three notebooks and you can't beat that for a dollar. That's a good price. So here's what this one looks like. And then there's this one. And then this one, and I'll open them up so you can see it. This is blank, so you could just draw or do whatever you want on that. Yeah, yeah, so you should see if your Dollar Tree has it. Yeah, one of my, I have a couple of Dollar Trees in my area, and one of the Dollar Tree places didn't have it. It should be in the stationary area. And then this is the graph paper. And then, aw. And then this is the just regular notebook. I'll go ahead and open the other ones. This is the butterfly one. Oh, congratulations on Vintage Rose. I saw your, your scope about how you are now on the design team for Simple Stories. I haven't decided what I'm going to use these for, uh, Kat. I have heard people say they you can use these for travel notebooks, but I haven't done that yet. So I may just have to jump on the travel notebook wagon just to use these, or maybe I'll just keep them and write little notes and stuff to myself. These butterflies are cute. I like the colors of it. Oh, hi, Karen. Sorry, I guess I should have should have looked at your name. And there's the graph again. And then these are the blank ones. So these were the birds and butterflies. And like I said, they come in packs of three for a dollar. I think that's a pretty good deal. Hi, Sarah Mella and Rebecca Hoot. Thank you for coming. I'm just showing my small haul that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure if you've seen other scopes about talking about the Dollar Tree notebooks that could be used like in your travel notebooks or your um, junk journaling. And I was just showing the four that I got. One was a butterfly, one was a um, the birds, and this one is like, it looks like a psychedelic zebra. I'm trying to take the tape off on this, but it doesn't want to work for me. Hi, Bound Letters, thank you for coming. So this one it still has a little bit of residue on it, but this is the notebook one, and this is what it looks like. It's got a zebra on it. 
And this looks like it has a cat. Hello, Lo Carborista. Thank you for coming. I'm just showing the notebooks I got from the Dollar Tree. And of course, now I have all this tape on my fingers. Sorry about that. Hold on. I'm still here. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to have, I wasn't even sure if anybody was going to come in because it is kind of late, I know, for those that live on the East Coast. So this is a blank one. Then this is a little dog. Okay, I will. Let me finish showing this one first. This is the grid. Okay, let me, the floral one, the one with the butterflies. Oh, you're planning. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me put them in the stacks that they were. Okay, I think this is the one you were asking, right? Vintage Rose. This is the floral one. This is. There's this one. Oh, okay, the birds. Okay. Here's the first one. There's that one. And then there's this one. And then there's this one. And then this last one. It looks like woodland animals. I probably said that. This is what it looks like and I'll open it up. Yeah, I think they're cute too. And I was so happy to find these and um, I'm so glad someone scoped about it. I, I saw it before I saw the scope, but I was like, oh, these are just journals. What are they gonna, what can I do with them? And then she was talking about doing them for, um, her traveler notebook they were a dollar at the dollar trees and you get a pack of three at the dollar tree and one and each notebook is different like this one is the lined paper and then this one this is so cute look at that it reminds me of bambi this one has the grid in it yeah i thought so too um, a traveler's notebook, from what I can gather, is like a, um, it's another form of a planner, but it's like your own designs, like if you want to draw in it or put quotes in it and different things like that. A, okay, a ringless planner. Whoops, this is upside down. Yeah, I'm new to that too. I just have a happy planner. And then this is just blank. But from... From the scope that I'd seen, the the lady was talking about like with this kind of a notebook, you could just put like a cover over it and then put like elastic over here and then you can use this notebook like to draw on or maybe do some of the lettering, things like that. And then the last thing I was going to show was this was on back order. I had shown my stamping up uh, order that I gotten the other day and this is large number dies oh yeah um the happy planners can be found at michael's or joann's and they're probably on a oh you all can teach me i'm not sure what size it is i'm assuming this is probably the personal size maybe vintage rose nose because i think she's the one that would know better than me because i'm fairly new to this does that look like a personal size to you vintage rose Oh, awesome. Yes, I got a big order. Uh, if you want to see any of my videos, I do have a catch account. You can find me on there as Air to Me, and I talk about stamping up on there too. Oh, pocket. So these are pockets. Who I'm not sure who asked that. But like I said, you can find these hopefully at your Dollar Tree. And they're just a dollar. Comes in a pack of three. And it'll have grid, blank, and lined. Yeah, celebration's going on right now. Yeah, your little one would like it. And then you don't have to worry if they're tearing up the pages or whatever because it's not a big investment. Yeah, grid. I'll show you. No, that one's not a grid. Hold on a minute. Yeah, see? This one has grid. So this is the one... I guess it's like the, what do they call it? What are they? Oh, I can't think of it. I'm blanking. But this, I'll show you them again. This is the, this is one set. This is the other. This is Woodland. That's right. This is Vintage Rose's favorite set, I believe. No, 
Yes. Yes, this is her favorite. So, there. I like this one. I like how pretty it is. And then there's that. And then these are the butterflies. Yes, I found them in the stationary area. These are all the butterflies. And then this one is kind of silly because it's got different animals on it and they're kind of silly. Like this one is the dog. This one is the bunny. And then this is a zebra. And here is my, yes, Dollar Tree in the stationary area. And then now this is, yes, yes, that's right, Karen. This is my large numbers framelit dies. If you have a big shot or even a cuddle bug, you could use this in your things. Whoops. So there you go. I'll show you in my catalog a better picture of it, of this set. Oops. Hopefully you didn't see my, oh no, I might have to delete this. I think I showed my address by mistake. I'm going to just show you the Nemper thing real quick. This is the stamp set. Hi! Let me see what your name is. Oh, hi, Nicole. Thanks for coming. I was just showing off notebooks I got from the Dollar Tree and then something that I got from Stamping Up, and I'm just showing the pictures of the Nemper thing that I got. So let me recap. My haul was these Nemper dies. Hi, Nicole. I'm Melinda. It's nice to meet you. I'm new to planning, too, actually. I think I got into planning in September, so I had no idea there was all these other things out there. When I, I think I was always a planner girl, even when I was younger, but we didn't have all these fun things to do like we can do now. So here are some of the notebooks you can find at the Dollar Tree and they come, one comes with a blank, like blank pages, one comes with grid and one comes lined. And then these are the butterflies. And then these are the birds. I think out of this pack, this one is my favorite. I like how colorful that is. And then this is Woodland. I don't remember who the other Stampin' Up! demonstrator is, but this reminds me of the Christmas card set that we just had. The Christmas paper we just had. I don't remember what the paper is called offhand. Okay, let me see if I'm following you. Okay, Jan, do you know what paper I'm talking about that looks like this? It was the Christmas paper that we had. I have it, and of course I don't know the name of it because <laughs> I'm blanking out and I don't have a holiday catalog right here. So that was all that. Oh, yes, yeah, kind of vintage. Thank you for coming, Vintage Rose. I appreciate it. And that's all I had today, and I just wanted to say thank you to my replay viewers and to my live viewers for coming to see my haul and hopefully you guys can find these notebooks at your dollar tree because really a pack of three for a dollar home for christmas designer series paper yeah and i saw someone scope about these notebooks and they were going to put them in their traveler's notebook so if that's something that you're interested in i think that would be a good investment or someone was even saying that i think it was karen saying that she could get it for her little one to use and really yeah because like let me see like this one these are blank so someone can draw on them if they wanted to oh let me share one more thing so if you're interested in following me i would love that or if you want to find me anywhere else out there in the social media this is where you can find me on my blog i talk mostly about stamping up but i usually show a variety of things i'll even show my planner things and stuff like that and on facebook pinterest and instagram my mail's creative creations twitter and periscope and eritame i'm eritame on twitter periscope and catch anyways guys thanks for coming 
I really appreciate it. Like I said earlier, I didn't expect anybody to be in here because I know it's kind of late. So I hope you have a good rest of the night and I will see you guys next time. Take care.